everyone, how are you doing? So the song we're going to be going over today is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. So we're just going to be going over the beginner's version of the song. So we're just going to focus on the intro and the chord for the verse and the chorus. Uh, so we're not going to be doing any of the lead guitar parts or anything. I will have another video up at some point going over all the A bits. Uh, but for now we're just going to go over the intro and the chords uh, for the verse and the chorus. So to start off with, mm. what we're going to do is we're going to get our first finger and the fourth string in the twelfth fret. We're just going to hit that once, and then our third finger on the second string on the fifteenth fret. Then your middle finger, third string, fourteen. First finger, third string, twelve. Third finger, first string, fifteenth fret. Middle finger, third string, fourteen, and then your third finger, first string, fourteen and then your middle finger, 3rd string, 14. And that's the first part of the intro that we're going to play there for you. So I'll play that uh, all together for you so you can hear how it sounds and then we'll go over the next part of it. Okay, so we're just going to be playing that twice and then once we've done that, we're going to go on to the next bit. So all we're going to do is put our middle finger on the 4th string in the 14th fret. We're just going to hit that once. 3rd finger, 2nd string, 15. Middle finger, 3rd string, 14. 1st finger, 3rd string, 12. 3rd finger, 1st string, 15. Middle finger, 3rd string, 14. 3rd finger, 1st string, 14. Then middle finger, 3rd string, 14. And that's all we're going to do there. So we're going to be playing that twice as well. And then the next part, we've got our first finger, third string, 12. And then our third finger, second string, 15. Middle finger, third string, 14. First finger, third string, 12. Third finger, first string, 15. Middle finger, third string, 14. Third finger, first string, 14. And then middle finger, third string, 14. And we're going to be doing that two times as well. And once we've done that, we're just going to go back to the very beginning and then just repeat the whole thing again. So the only difference is when you get back to the first part, you're going to be doing it four times when you're going to start it from the very beginning again. So when you've done this bit here, starting on the third string in the 12th fret, you're going to go up just one string and starting from the very beginning again, except this time you're going to be doing it four times. And then you're just going to carry on uh, playing the same way you've just done before. So you're going to be doing that three times, but on the third time, what it does is when you get into your first finger on the third string on the 12th fret, you're going to be doing that just as you've done before. And then we're going to be playing this bit here. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to be playing this shape that we've got just now. So it's your first finger on the first string on the 12th fret, third finger, second string, 15th fret, and then your middle finger, third string, 14th fret. So what we're going to do there is we're going to hit the first string, then the third, and then the second string, and then the third string, first string again and then the third string and then you're going to get your third finger and you're going to put that on the first string on the 14th fret then hit the third string again and then move your third finger up to the 15th fret on the first the first string then hit the third string and then move your third finger back down to the 14th fret on the first string and then you hit the first the third string on the 14th fret so your first finger and your middle finger are staying exactly where they are, so they're not moving at all in that bit. It's just your third finger that you're going to be moving back and forth there. So I'll play that again for you just so you can hear how it sounds, and then I'll talk you through it again. Okay, so your first finger, first string, 12th fret. Middle finger, third string, 14th fret. And then your third finger, second string, 15th fret. 
So you're going to hit the first string, then the third string, second string, third string, first string, third string, and then what you're going to do is your third finger, first string, 14th fret, and then you hit the third string, move your third finger up to the first string in the 15th fret, hit that, back up to the third string in the 14th, move your third finger back down to the 14th fret in the first string, and then you hit the third string, and then you get your third finger back to the second string on the 15th fret, and you're just going to strum from the third string down. And that's just how you do that there. So I'll play the intro from the very beginning through to the very end there for you, just so you can hear how it sounds. I'll play it at a slow tempo for you, just so you can hear every bit perfectly, and obviously you can play along with it as well. And then we'll go through the chords for the verse and the chorus. And that's your intro there for Sweet Child of Mine. So going into the verse now, we're just going to be playing our D major chord. And the strumming pattern we're going to do for that is down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're going to be doing that twice over the D chord there. So we're just going down, down, up, up, down, up. And then do it one more time. Down, up, up, down, up. And then we're going to go on to our C add nine. And we're going to do the exact same strumming pattern. Uh, for twice as well. So from the fifth string, we're going to strum down from that. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then just going to move our middle finger up to the sixth string on the third fret. Exact same strumming again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then back down to the D major chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's your verse for Sweet Child of Mine there. Okay, so when you're doing the D chord, when you're going to the D chord after you played the G, you're going to be playing that four times, okay? So I'll play the verse for you from the beginning straight through to the end, just so you can hear how it sounds, so you can uh, play along with it as well, and then we'll go through the chorus for you. So we'll start off with our D major chord. We've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, C at nine. So I'll play it again uh, through the, from the beginning of the verse through to the end, just without going through the strumming pattern for you, and then we'll go over the uh, chorus. verse there. So the chorus, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing our A major chord and we're going to do the same strumming pattern as before except we're just going to do it once. So you just go down, down, up, up, down, up and then onto our C add 9, down, down, up, up, down, up and then our D major and we're going to do the same strumming pattern but we're going to do it twice over the D chord. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up that's your chorus for Sweet Child of Mine there. So I'll play that, I'll play the chorus for you the whole way through and then I'll play 
the verse and the chorus all together and then I'll let you get on and have a practice with it yourself. So you're just going to start off with your A major chord. So I'll play the verse and the chorus for you all together and then I'll let you get on and have a practice. So that was the beginner's version of Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. So I'll let you get on and have a practice with that. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could hit the subscribe button, uh, that way you'll be kept up to date with more videos that I have coming up. Try and keep get as many videos up uh, as I can. So I'll try and get one a week if I can or I'll try and get more up. Uh, if I've got the time for it. So if you hit subscribe you'll be kept up to date with all the videos that I'm going to have up and if you can also go on to facebook.com slash McNaughton guitar that way I'll have the tabs for all the songs that I put up on there for you so you can have a look at them and you'll have the tabs uh, sitting in front of you. So if you click subscribe, quick like onto the Facebook page, uh, if you like the video and leave a comment that would also be a huge help, thank you. Uh, so I'll let you get on and have a practice with that and I'll see you later on. Bye!